than having the art and the artist you know right here in the same frame manu sir what all have you know has gone into influencing this i went to banaras in 80s and there was a question in my mind that we don't have a somewhere indianness that root is not in our especially in landscape mm. so that was my challenge for me and uh, i went to banaras and thought i will get something and luckily in that trip one evening mm -hmm. when i was traveling from assi ghat to uh, manikarnika ghat by boat and i saw this kind of a fantastic sky and then reflection on water and then temples light from temples and sound from aarti and all these things that was a magical and that was a real one it can touch your heart so from that Uh, tour onwards i started doing this till today i am doing this thing we had jatin das walking and talking us through the various artists and his relationship with them which was nothing short of amazing we are starting with great rabindranath tagore <laughs> ji whose brothers were great artists mm. he was never an artist he was a great poet and a thinker and a philosopher who started shantini ketan and he was writing poems while well, writing poems the ink dropped mm -hmm. so he started doodling with it that's how he started painting how fascinating yamini roy during the Big british fan. time they he sold hundreds of them because the foreigners wanted indianness ramkinkar bej was a great artist of india if you want a book on picasso is thousands available in the country If you want a book of Ramkinkar Bej, is not available. How sad. So we are still in the colonial hangar. He was a singer. He was a theatre person. Wow. He was a sculptor. He was a painter. उसके पास blue नहीं होता था. He took the कपड़ा दिखाने के लिए जो blue डालते हैं उसपे डालके painting कर दिया. Wow. He was a great artist. One of the greatest artists of India. K S Kulkarni is a dear friend of mine. He died. He set up the art department in Trivani Kala Sangam. Then he was the dean at Banaras University, but he went over to America. So people forgot him. Every drawing and painting of his high quality. We caught up with South Asia's leading designer, art curator, and scenographer Rajiv Sethi, who is known internationally. for his innovative contribution to preserving and celebrating the subcontinent's rich cultural heritage so i think chola pukar was work and this is quite early by so has a whole lot of people who work who wouldn't wouldn't they yeah, like yeah. marketry and they create traditional marketry you know elephants and scenes they also made a uh, lady with a lamp they'll play with shades of wood and they in the virappan's jungles yeah. been able to identify 40 kinds of woods with all different colors and patinas from gray to red to blue woods now here is a government that's dead beat on commerce not now we had it Forever. since independence and they are very keen to sell those jungles to industry so plywood manufacturers come to take plies of exotic woods and they sell whole jungles to them but when craftsmen want a few branches so that they can take the wood and add value to create something which is environmentally friendly because they are not chopping full forest they're just taking a little wood and playing with the colors of wood to create a unit which is yeah this is in another realm so much so he is a He's a contemporary painter who recognizes traditional skill. I'm sure that Shola Pulkar may not have carved this out. He may have asked the craftsman 
to follow a drawing he did. And they would have understood the value of color, of form, of another medium finding a way to say something else That's from what they are familiar with. So art, craft, what is modern, what is traditional. It's just blurring. And it's helping everyone. I mean, this is Ronald Sapari. I think we got a lot of people who got a lot of people. Yes. Now, Ronald Ji has made this art. I was saying that this art, that I know about computers, that computers are कितनी मदद कर सकते हैं वो पहली बार एहसास हुआ आप अपनी कलाकृति के बारे में बताइए ना बेसिकली डिजिटल आर्ट मैंने ये दो तीन साल से शुरू किया है और डिजिटल आर्ट करने का मेरा जो स्वभाव नहीं था मैं पेंटिंग करता था बेसिकली आई मैं पेंटर मगर मुझे नई नई चीजें ट्राई करने का एक जुनून है कि एक चीज पे कभी इंसान को रुके नहीं रहना चाहिए आगे बढ़ना चाहिए कुछ नया खोजना चाहिए आर्टिस्ट अपने आप में एक खोज है आर्टिस्ट कुछ खोजेगा तो ही उसको कुछ नया मिलेगा तो ये डिजिटल आर्ट उसी का परिणाम है कि मेरी आ, मेरी जो अंदर की एक डिज़ायर थी कि कुछ और आ, काफी टाइम से मैं फोटोग्राफी कर रहा था तो मुझे ये लगा कि ये फोटोग्राफी को मैं मेरे पेंटिंग में कैसे यूज कर करूँगा तो उस तरह से ये डिजिटल दो थे आपने तो एक ऊपर दिखाया था ये ये उसकी आईज है ये ये पूरा उसका जबड़ा है और ये पूरा फॉर्म देखोगे यहाँ से तो ये आपको एक टाइगर फील होगा यस yes. जंगलों में जो मेरे ख्याल एक कविता का शीर्षक हो yes. सकते हैं यस yes. जंगल जो जा रहे हैं और टाइगर जो मैंने इसका टाइटल रखा हुआ है क्या द पोएटिक केयर्स द पोएटिक केयर्स यस कि आपको जो देखना है वो आप इसके अंदर देख सकते हो सो ये मेरी नजर में कला इस किस्म की कला प्रदर्शनियों के लिए कितना जरूरी है कि कलाकार हो और वो अपनी जो प्रस्तुतिकरण है वो अपनी जो अपनी जुबानी अपनी कहानी बता सके जब वो होता है तो उसमें कला की अनुभूति का एक बिल्कुल अलग एहसास होता है शुक्रिया थैंक यू सर एंड नाउ आई हैव मनु पारिक हु इज गोइंग टू टेक मी टू वन ऑफ हिज फेवरेट पेंटिंग्स इन द एग्जिबिट सर व्हिच वन हैव यू पिकड अप Veer Munshi. Veer Munshi, yeah. Tell me how you uh, interpret this, because there's so many things happening and so many lovely artists. Yeah, सबसे पहले मैं I'll say he's a good friend, so I know his progress. He's a Kashmiri pandit, और वो सब बातों में pain है, वगैरह सब कुछ struggle भी है. And then during this period. He did a one series of uh, zodiac sign, Achha. and did everything in in a narrative way. Acha. Particularly, this painting is a bit of humor also. Mm. That he took a reference from Garnica. Then, how to match Garnica with a Indian tycoon, mostly Suza and Hussain Sir. Hussain Sir, yeah. And, बहुत सारे रियली बने हैं उनके भी जो इंटरेस्टिंग काम है उनको सब इंक्लूड करके रखा और का देखो कमाल का एक पेंटिंग उसने कॉपी किया है और साहब का भी एट द सेम टाइम पिकासो को भी जिस तरह से यूज किया है स्पेशली गर्नी का पेंटिंग विक्टोरियली बिकम सच अ पावरफुल That is a wonderful quality about this painting, okay. and I saw finished, unfinished. Oh, you saw yeah, it at yeah, different yeah, stages. Yeah, yeah, I saw many times. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow, wow. So I saw every stage in his studio. Gee. So, so that's a very interesting effort to create a character out of characters. Hi. 
I am Vivek Sharma, the artist from Mumbai. Uh, I've been working on these sadhus, which you can very clearly see is the Kumbha sadhus that I got, uh, you know, fascinated by the Mahakumbha of 2012. Uh, I think every artist uh, background always connect them to their roots. My mother and father, they are from Uttar Pradesh and uh, I was born in Mumbai. But I remember that my mom has been taking me to Allahabad every year to Nana Nani's place. And they used to take us to Ganga to take a bath there. And I used to often see them uh, being a part of uh, the Ganges. I never thought I'm going to become an artist and I'll ever take this as my subject and paint them. So when 2012 the Kumbha Mela came in, uh, they took my attention and that's when I thought of uh, painting this subject. And there was a lot of inspiration of the old masters that how do they play with the light? How do they play with the shadows? How do they play with the reflected light? And I think that gave me more motivation to give more time to these subject matter. And then I started keeping that in my mind that if I want to paint my subject, I want to paint them like Van Gogh. Great the Times of India has been the first to be able to bring us all together. Yes, this is a, a light end of the tunnel. This exhibition has that kind of an importance because it really gives a picture of the art that is involved within this 60 years. I'm happy this festival is happening because two years was a very miserable, gloomy, too silent time for the arts. Extremely innovative renditions of art and craft together. Not a art expert. But for me, it has been a really, really unique experience. This showcases Indian art over various generations and it gives a glimpse of art, how India has traveled through it in the, in the traditional, the contemporary and the modern ages. Log on to www.theartofindia.in to explore 400 plus masterpieces and participate in the auction of some of the finest on May 18th and 19th.